Hundreds of stately mansions once lined Long Island's North Shore. It was known as the Gold Coast. But over the years, many of those dazzling mansions were lost, knocked down to make way for new development. But some have survived and are now open to the public, including one that showcases its former owners' amazing collections that were gathered during trips around the world. Chris Calora reports. This Long Island mansion isn't keeping its art collection hidden inside the house. Some works are right out on the front lawn. It's the old Clayton estate in Roslyn that for the past 20 years has been home to the Nassau County Museum of Art. They wanted it to be a first-rate museum that any city in the, in the world would be proud to have. And so the original mission, which is maintained today, is to bring in art of the first order. The estate has eight miles of hiking trails, formal gardens, and a collection of about 60 sculptures. This Georgian Revival style mansion built back at the turn of the 20th century was once bought by Henry Clay Frick back in 1919, who's well known in the art world in his own right and was a wedding gift for his son Childs. When the Fricks moved into the mansion, they made several changes, including installing an entire pine room from a mansion in Yorkshire, England. The molding that is so extraordinary on the ceiling had been molded out of plaster of Paris and includes uh, apicanthus leaves and varying kinds of fruit. And the detail is so exquisite. And of course, this became the drawing room. The mansion was sold to Nassau County in 1969. For several years, it was used by the Office of Cultural Development to host events and was a small county-owned museum. Today, the museum receives over 200,000 visitors and about 30,000 students annually who visit the museum to study and look at the artwork exhibits. But we have Monet here, we have Renoir here, we have Picasso here, and it is a continuing thing. As an art museum, Clayton continues to be a place where the public can still view the types of architecture and get a look at the rare and beautiful treasures once commonly displayed within the walls of Long Island's Gold Coast mansions. In Rosalind, Chris Calora, LI News Tonight.